Welcome, boys and girls, to another playthrough of F1 Manager 2022. This is... That's right. Guten Tag, this is Michael Schumacher. I am taking over the Ferrari team. Back in F1, miraculously recovering from my injuries, and back in the paddock. We are taking over Ferrari, as you can see, and there are going to be some changes around here. So first off... We are going to go and get the best drivers on the market right now. And who are we going to find to fill this these seats? That's right. We are going to fill it with my son. So as he is a Schumacher and our bank account is just super deep. And let's face it, the cost cap doesn't really apply to us, guys. I'm a Schumacher, for God's sakes. I'm wearing red right now just to prove it. Yes, I know. I may look like a prepubescent Asian man or girl, but I am Michael Schumacher in the flesh. And we are <laughs> we are filling the seats with Schumachers. So first, we are getting Mick. No race target bonus. Boy, you will have to just deal with it. And next, we are going to get quite possibly the second best driver on the track where is he i just saw him that's right there he is david schumacher my nephew and son of my brother filling in the second seat now he doesn't have any experience in f1 so we'll just give him a million dollars but we gotta you gotta have money to make money look at that we're already at 328 million dollars and that's because as soon as the sponsors saw that I was taking over the team, they all started flocking towards victory and champions. So we're going to get David here to fill in the second car. Oh, boohoo. You don't want five seasons. You're going to get it anyway. Ralph, talk to your boy. Get him on board. And then for uh, our reserve driver, mm, he doesn't look like a Ferrari driver. So let's go and look for a new driver. We'll keep we'll keep the legacy thing going. So uh, we'll go with Enzo. Yeah, we don't want to take Pietro away from his drive. We'll go with Enzo and keep the legacy thing going. I think he's the son of Emerson, right? I know Pietro definitely is. I'm assuming Enzo is too. I think they're brothers. I'm not quite sure. I don't really follow unknown drivers. As Michael Schumacher, anyway. So we'll give this kid, we'll give this kid a seat. He doesn't need any money. His father's rich enough, anyway. So we'll just give him five hundred k to sit in the reserve seat. All right, there we go. So our lineup is done. We have Mick in the number one seat. We have David in the number two seat, and we have Enzo Fittipaldi as our reserve driver and we'll keep the staff as they are yeah they look okay and we'll go into our facilities and just go ahead and upgrade everything and look at this guys we're at 728 million dollars right now gotta have money to make money 800 million dollars we spend more money we get more money that's just how it is to be rich don't know what it's like to be poor anymore but this is what it's like to be rich so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade all of our facilities here even our staff facilities team hub scouting department now the car is already pretty much the number one car on track right now but with my help hopefully we can be far and away the number one team on track weather center only a level one helipad ferrari my house has two helipads at least the house, our main house in Switzerland or wherever the hell it is we live. <clears throat> okay, so let's go take a look at the car. Car analysis right now, if we show rank on grid, we are pretty much first on everything except for speed, acceleration, and then engine cooling, and then top speed and acceleration DRS as well. So we're going to go ahead and develop some new projects to help us just fix those last few things. We'll go with a new chassis. There we go. Use up all of the official 
wind tunnel time. Doesn't even matter what we use it on. We're number one right now anyway, so we're gonna be number one when this is all done. All right, one, two, three, four, five. We won't even go intense. We'll just go rushed. And then we will go and let's see, what else can we work on? What's probably the best, next best thing? Probably the rare wing would be the next best thing. And look at that. We have secret wind tunnels all over the all over the world that we can use to test our cars. Let's not pretend like this isn't really happening anyway. Well, we're just Ferrari. I'm I'm sending Ferrari in a different direction this year, and for the foreseeable future. Let's go take a look at the values to see when it actually maxes out. Are we maxed out? We are maxed out. Okay. And again, we're in the number one team, so let's just go ahead and max everything out here. Now, since the car is still pretty close to every other car on the grid as of right now, before the uh, start of the season, we probably will have a little bit of problem, a little bit of a problem winning some races right at the beginning. Uh, but once we start pulling away from everybody else, I think we should be fine. So let's go. Uh, email. All right. Sponsor obligations. No thanks. We don't need any more sponsor obligations. Welcome, Mick, Enzo, David car development okay ten thousand dollars how many quarters is that i think i have that in my pocket a michael fucking schumacher so all right you guys can have your little pity party helipad is done not to the level as the one at my house but it'll have to do for ferrari we'll continue memorabilia room is done uh, Ferrari, you're welcome. Everything you have in your memorabilia room is pretty much all from my work anyway. So let's get this helipad up to working condition. Memorabilia room, almost done. Important email. Okay, I think I've already looked at it. Prep, race prep, Grand Prix, performance targets. I'm going to hit them all, baby. All right, guys, I will see you. For the race, we're going to do some behind-the-scenes stuff, get, take care of practice and qualifying, and I'll see you guys for the race. Oh, also, Michael Schumacher does drink Mountain Dew Kickstart as well. So, Mountain Dew, if you want to become another sponsor of this series, you guys can definitely get on board. Did you see how much my bank account grew? Just letting you know. All right, boys, so we are done with qualifying. It's about to start the race, and look at that 88% confidence in the car setup. Mick managed to qualify P7. David managed to qualify P18 with a 92% car setup. Let's go take a look at the race. Surprise, surprise, it's going to be dry in the desert. So if we go... Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, mm, okay. Looks like it'll have to be... I mean, I guess we could... have a little bit of tire wear to work with on the hard and the medium stint. We're going to go and max out the soft stint. You know what? Maybe it's better off just going medium, hard, mediums, and then we can push a little bit with the tires. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we're going to have to do the same thing with David as his overall ability is not that high either. So, all right. So medium, medium, hard, mediums. Oop, what am I doing? Medium, hard, mediums for both of our drivers today. Starting 7th and 18th. Let's see how this Schumacher dynasty starts off. Okay, I had to do a quick restart because my computer crashed. But we'll, we'll get going. Gonna fire my computer guy after we are done with this race weekend. Away we go. All right, I'm gonna push on the tires right away. We have plenty of tire life, and I forgot to switch David over to medium hard medium strategy. So we will just keep him there. We don't have a strategy for him. That's fine. We'll just run him until the tires are dead, and then we will switch out. Mick all the way up to P6 right away, and David P19 fighting for last place with Nicholas Latifi. Atta boy. That's the way to get the Schumacher name back on top. Fighting with Nicholas Latifi for P20. 
That's right, we are at 8x right now. Mick is holding his own in P6, fastest car on the grid, and we are barely able to stay DRS with George enabled. Russell. DRS is finally enabled. Let's go ahead and push a little bit. Go overtake. Uh, David locks up. Still in front of uh, Nicholas Latifi, though, so that's good. I think been a lock up. Let's, Let's see how bad it was. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Oh, they've lost it. They've ah, not so bad. Up. Still managed to keep it on track. That's good, David. We're working on it. Ralph's jeans are not as good as my jeans, so it's kind of almost expected. But we have a Schumacher, well, two Schumachers back in a Ferrari right now, and hopefully one of them can lead us back to glory. We are the fastest car on track. Thank you. <laughs> can we overtake Hamilton? Yes, we can. Okay, now up to P4. Ferrari, advance the race position. Now, we'll, we'll definitely have the car to win a championship, but can the drivers stick with it long enough to oh, beat the Red Bulls? This the is place. the first year. This is still 2022. We've gone back in time, and I bought the team, and we're fighting with the Mercedes right now. And a good three seconds behind the Red Bulls. And we're pushing with tires to just even achieve that. So about four seconds behind the Red Bulls. Verstappen looks like the clear winner today. But let's see if we can do anything to change that. We got a little bit of battery here to play with. No, we do not. We're back behind the Mercedes again. All right, let's harvest a little bit of battery while we're stuck behind. Verstappen. Let's have a look. Now I just saw that. Max Verstappen. They've locked up, but that could have been Oof. much worse. At least David managed to keep it on track there, Max. So Max back down to P3. We are harvesting battery behind Russell and Verstappen right now. And it looks like Max should there. be able to catch they back up, up with place. Perez. Four and a half seconds isn't too big of a gap. All right, ERS fully charged right now. We are back in the game. Still P4. And still managing to keep up with Russell and Verstappen. All right, let's deploy a little bit right now. Try to, not trying to overtake Verstappen, just trying to close that gap a little bit to Perez. Okay, that's enough juice. Where is David? David has worked his way up to P7 now. All right, let's use a little bit of battery there to try. Never mind, he just got overtaken again by Stroll. All right, there we go. Now, let's go and deploy. Get David to get a little bit closer to Yuki there in P16. Mick now up to P2 in front of Verstappen. We are in our pit window. Good. Kill those tires. And harvest some battery while you're at it. David, 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 I my boy. We've had a car run wide. This game is going to stop like every two and seconds DRS because David disabled. keeps... DRS disabled. David keeps going wide. Alright, so right there with Max still. And battery is full. Sounds like someone's locked up. This is going to be a boring season if we're, we're just dominating from the beginning. No, let's go a few more laps. I think we got it in us to do a few more laps. Push on this lap. Looks like there's been a lockup. Okay, there we go. Someone's run wide. Oh, let's pause. All right, David's got to come in. We're going to go softs to hards. And then we'll see where his tire wear is at the end. And then we will decide what to do with him. But I think Mick will be coming in this lap as well. Yep, he's already deploying. Okay. So Mick will deploy for the rest of this lap. Use up the rest of his tire wear. And then hopefully now George is right behind us as well. Okay, so he's coming in. 
We managed to get out in front of Verstappen. Or come out with Verstappen, I should say. Uh, I think we actually have... Yeah, we've got plenty of tires here to go attack mode. Try to close that back up to Perez. We'll do the same thing with David. David now in P19. Have the... Yes, the Williams have already stopped. But where is Mick? Mick is right behind Verstappen. Let's harvest a little bit of battery while we're here. So they're on the mediums. Did they go medium, medium? They're going to go medium, medium softs? Medium, medium hards? Not quite sure. We set the fastest lap. That's good. We do have the fastest car. Come on, don't don't lose to Yost's son. I kicked the shit out of Yost during my career. Don't lose to his son. You've got a name to live up to. We are the fucking Schumachers. All right, starting to drop back a little bit, so I'll have him go into neutral DRS deployment for now. David, where are you at, my boy? Okay. You're stuck behind Alex. I understand Alex is a generational talent. I have um, a lot of admiration for him, so don't feel too bad if you lose to Alex. He is a very good driver. But let's see if we can push by him anyway. All right, good job, good job. We'll use some deployment to try and get out in front. Let's go... Back to Ferrari, Mick. Mick now in front of Max. Attaboy. Attaboy, Mick. Can we harvest a little bit more? Let's harvest a little bit more and then... Ah, uh, damn it. Well, David is right up next to... Right behind Stroll at, the, at this moment. Alright, so we are harvesting. Let's go deploy now and see if we can close this gap to Perez a bit. Maybe on the next try. I'll have him deploy on the main straight and then try to pull away. Uh, we'll, we'll harvest a little bit of battery for now. Okay, never mind. We've made it out in front. And we've lost the position again. Yellow flags. All right, we're going to deploy for now. Try to catch up to Perez. Uh, I don't know if the car has enough juice here to... Looks like Aston Martin. Oh, wow. Okay, so Max is sticking right on our wing here. Closing up on Latifi now is Perez, and we will be catching up as well. Gap's still about five seconds, five and a half seconds to Perez. That hasn't really changed much since the start of the race. Wow, our tires oh, are... Okay, we're going to have to go a little bit easy on the tires for now. Look at that, we went through our hards much faster than the um, Red Bulls went through their medium compound tires. So Mick now dropping even further back from the Red Bulls as our tire life, or his tire management's just not up there with uh, the likes of Verstappen and Perez. All right, so coming up on our pit window now. We do have a bit of fuel here to work with. Alright, well the will the hard tires last until we pit? That is the question. Look at that. Jeez. Once I stop pushing on the tire on the tires, the pace um going back to standard pace, we just started dropping so far back. I didn't even notice if, if maybe we spun out or anything like that. We must have for the tire wear to go down that much. Just a reminder on the garage. Copy. All right, so the car is where it needs to be, but mix ability is not quite just yet. So, I think he must have he must have gone wide or locked that up or something. Like someone's gone wide there. Even the Mercedes are starting to catch up now. Okay, I think we're gonna have to pit. We're going to have to pit Mick here. His tires Aston are just Martin dying. Great play there. They've moved up Do we have place. damage? No damage. Now, okay. Might as well kill those tires. Alright. P9 now. 
I want to change it. Yeah, I don't want to be pushing just yet. Because we stopped a lap earlier. Well, I guess it's only one lap, so it's not that bad. We're not going to get much of an undercut here either, as the Red Bulls were just so far ahead of us that I don't think it's really going to matter. But we are back up to P4 now. Russell still has to do one more pit stop, I believe. Yes, he still has to stop one more time. Red Bulls are on the softs now as well, so really no chance of us catching up. David all the way down in P17 now. Well, he might be able to catch Stroll here. Charles off. I think Mick is okay for now where he's at. Yep, all right, so Mick just got the fastest lap. David is going to come in for a new set of softs. And then he will take those to the end. Mick is P4. Four seconds behind Russell, who's yet to pit. And it's the first season. This is still 2022, so uh, fastest lap still does get a point. We're not catching up to the Red Bulls now, so I'm just going to conserve a little bit and try to go for the fastest lap. We've got Hamilton eight seconds behind us. All right, let's just go. One more lap and that should do it. Battery should be full now. Hamilton is right on our tail again, but hopefully this will get him off. Where's David? Seven seconds behind Vettel. Okay, so no point. Come on, Mick. Don't spin out here. All right, we got the fastest the lap. Moment, we are the fastest car on track. I love that guy's voice. Leclerc's old engineer. Yellow. Okay, never mind. We're good again. 25 That's seconds. Look at this. We're a whole pit stop behind the Red Bulls now just from not being able to push with our tires. And looks like Hamilton's a, a steady 5.5. It's losing a tenth every once in a while to us, but we are able to stay comfortably in P3 with the fastest lap. And I think this will be pretty much it for the rest of the race here. It'll be pretty much this. Alright, let's give David a chance here to get the fastest lap, see if he can do it. He did not, okay. Last lap here, boys, and I think this is all she wrote. Mick comfortably in P3, a good 28 seconds behind the Red Bulls. And David finishing 44 seconds behind of Ricardo in P15. It's a little disconcerting. All right, so first podium for Mick Schumacher. P1, Sergio. P2, Max. P3, us. Driver standings, pretty much the finishing order of that race. And right now, because David finished so far back, we are currently third in the constructors standing. But both Mick and David getting pretty decent uh, experience gain here. 1,400 and 1,500 points. We don't even care about the sponsor money. We've got hundreds of millions in the bank account, if not billions by this point. Yeah, $3 billion, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, so we have five days until the new chassis comes in, 25 days for the new rear wing, but the only thing is that the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix is in four days, so I don't believe we're gonna be getting those upgrades in, are we? No, all right, we'll just have to deal with it. Ah, head of aerodynamics gets one upgrade point. So let's go and put it into cooling. It doesn't even matter. Drivers, none of our drivers have any upgrade points. Okay, let's go. Race prep, continue, continue. Oh, got to look at that. All right, guys, we're going to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. I'll see you guys at the start of the race. Okay, guys, so we are done with qualifying. Mick qualified P2, David all the way down in P15. Let's take a look at their setup confidence here. It's time for the... Okay, so 88% for Mick, 96% for David. P15 is pretty good for David Schumacher, 47 overall driver. Let's go ahead and take a look at the weather. It looks like it's going to be dry, and yeah, we should be able to do a comfortable medium to hards. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, hards to medium looks like it's going to be the faster of the two. Maybe we'll just wear the hards all the way down to the bone and then we will dump the uh, hards for the medium. So we'll go with that. Maybe we'll even do the same for David or maybe we do a soft medium medium yeah let's go soft medium medium although that says it'll be all right maybe we'll go uh, hard to mediums as well for david okay let's go p2 cloudy skies tonight we're now moments away from this okay the saudi arabian grand prix now, we can't push too hard as we are going to be really on the limit with the tires. But Mick automatically down to P3. Now, as long as we can stay with the Red Bulls, we should be okay. David dropped down to P17 right away as well. So not a good start for both of our drivers. DRS is enabled. DRS is enabled. All right. So the moment DRS is enabled, we dropped right outside of DRS, but we're still there using a little bit of battery deployment now to kind of close up to the two Red Bulls. Can we do so? I don't want to push with the Looks pace like too much have just gained a race position. as we are going to be on the edge there with tire wear. But all right, we managed to close back up to the Red Bulls now with DRS. So hopefully we should be able to sit here for the rest of the race if Mick can get his ass going and not ruin the Schumacher name. David down to P18. So he's doing a good job of ruining the Schumacher name. Not living up to Michael, but I guess pretty much on par with Ralph. All right, I got to cut Ralph some slack. He had a pretty decent career. Unlike David, who is now and behind Latifi. Just gained by Williams. All right, so we just lost the position to Hamilton. I think now is the perfect time to start the harvesting some battery. Right. Let's take a look at the tire wear. Ooh, everybody started on mediums. You know what? Okay, so it might not be that bad. Everybody started on mediums and we started on the hards and we're still managing to stay with the leaders here. The two Alfa Romeos, P5 and P6 right now, good seven and a half seconds back. So we probably don't have to worry too much about them. And they're fighting now as well, costing each other time. So let's stay on the mediums for now, or stay with the medium runners for now on these hards and hopefully we can get out ahead. Whoa, what just happened? All right, Hamilton into the lead now. We're stepping back to P4. Let's speed it up. Actually, you know what? Let's slow it down a bit. We'll have Dave use some um, overtake here, try to gain some positions. Norris now in P20. 
I don't know what happened there. He must have gotten some damage or something. Unless he started on the softs. I think it'll be difficult for Norris to take the hards to the end of the race. Look at this though. We're on the hard compound tires and still managing to stay with the leaders. Yellow, sector one, crash. We're we gonna have a safety car. A safety car this early would not benefit us as we are on the hard compound tires and we don't have another set of hards. Even if we did, we can't go hards to hards. All right. So no safety car there, which works out for us. Pause real quick. My wife just got home. All right, boys, we are back. Let's go ahead. We are still in P3 right now behind Perez and Hamilton. Which is good, I think. We're at about 70% on our hards, and the mediums are at about halfway through, yeah, about 55%. So we should be okay. Let's go 16x now. And. Alright, so Perez makes the pit stop. He's dropped back to P10. The rest of the leaders are making their pit stops. You know what? Our tire wear isn't that bad. We are with Russell right now. Oh no, a safety car. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Will the mediums go to the end? Oh boy, I don't think they will. We are in a difficult position right now, ladies and gentlemen. What to do, what to do, what to do. I think we have to stay out on the hards. Yeah, I don't think we have much of a choice here. I should have split the strategies. Where's David P12? All right, so I think the good thing, at least right now, is that and it will be DRS off. the rest of the leaders, yeah, we should slow down. The the rest of the leaders are now Perez is in P4, so they might still be slowed down by the other cars behind them. But yeah, this has kind of put us in a bad spot right now. We can't. We can't pit onto the mediums because they're not going to make it to the end. We're not even halfway through the race yet. So we will have to stay on these tires for now. Oops, sorry, Dave. We'll have to stay on these tires for now. Drive them until there's no grip left and then hopefully jump onto the mediums and just go really, really fast at the end. But I don't know. We do have some cars between us. Will be in this lap. Yeah, we do have some cars between us, so hopefully that will help us a little bit. And none of the leaders none of the leaders are behind David at this point, so we can't even use him to hold anybody back, but hopefully Oh man, Perez is already up to P3 right now. At the moment, we are the fastest car on track. Oh, that doesn't help us if... Yeah. And just a reminder on DRS. Copy. Battery's dead right now. Perez is right behind us. DRS we probably, probably should have started on the mediums there. We got f quite a few laps until, yeah, lap 33 is when we were supposed to pit. Six laps left to go and Perez and Verstappen are already right, in f right behind us. So that's not looking good for us. Oh, a Ferrari just gained a place. David, oh wow, good for you. The good thing now though is that um, Red Bull gained the ooh, place. Verstappen, ah, damn it, we just dropped out of DRS. Verstappen is a good three seconds behind, too. Not that it really matters, but I think we're gonna. 
We're getting the bum end of the deal here, guys. All right, let's just go 16x until our pit window opens. We could probably pit a little bit earlier. Yeah, I might pit this lap because the mediums are supposed to go. We're supposed to have a decent amount of wear at the end of um, our medium stint anyway. So we might as well put them onto the mediums now. That's a new race position for Haas. Where does Mick come out? P10. Oh, boy. And everybody else has already pitted. So we have a bit of catching up to do here. Ferrari, advance the race position. And we can't even push that hard on the tires because Mick's not that great at tire management. Okay. Let's go. Speed it up a bit. I think we can catch up to a few cars in front of us. Everybody's on hard compound tires anyway. We have the fastest lap right now with Mick. Working his way up to the Alpha Tauris. We can go. I think we can afford to go aggressive for a little bit here. All right, now we've caught up to Sonoda. Can we harvest a little bit behind him? Probably even overtake him at this point, really. But we're in a DRS train, uh, which doesn't look good for us. Now, safety car right now would help, as we can probably go onto the softs. All right, so we have plenty of battery now. And a little bit of tire, tire life to work with. Let's see if we can overtake a position or two. All right, got in front, P6 now. I think we can still manage a P4 here. If we really worked at it. All right, so up to P4 now. But doesn't look like there's gonna be enough time left in this race for us to really catch up to Hamilton. Five laps left to go, we're a good 11 seconds behind. Oh boy. Okay, let's stop. Mick's got the fastest lap right now. David is in P14. Um, okay. Can David catch up to Russell? I don't know. Russell is pretty far ahead. Oh, we have cut the lead down or cut the gap to Verstappen down. We're actually... We're making time up. We're making time up. The safety car kind of... All right. I thought that was Perez getting the fastest lap, but we still have the fastest lap. So it's looking good, actually. Yeah, so Perez really only won there because of the safety car. I think we had the pace there to really win that race, but the safety car kind of caught us out. So we bring home a P4, just one position outside of the podiums. Let's take a look at the driver standings. We are P3 right now. Behind the two Red Bulls. Constructor standings, we're still P3. Four points behind the Mercedes, not a bad race. Unlucky with the safety car and that's about it. One development point for Mick, one development point for David, and Enzo doesn't get any development points. Again, sponsorship money doesn't count. We are Michael fucking Schumacher and we have a whole bunch of money anyway. We get our chassis in. That should help us out. Memorabilia room done. Boardroom done. Race simulator done. All right, that should help us out as well. So let's go take a look at our drivers and add those points in. Where do we want to put it into? Let's just go with overtaking for Mick. David, oh boy, just a whole bunch of really shitty stats. Um. He really needs some help with pace, so we'll add it into braking. Did Enzo get a point? Enzo did not. Let's take a look at our staff. Nothing. All right, let's take a look at our facilities. I know a couple of them just finished. All right, race simulator will upgrade. Operations facility, boardroom will upgrade. Memorabilia room is maxed out. That's fine. Let's go to our cars. Chassis, chassis came in, right? Okay. Manufacturer. Got all the money in the world, so let's just go with that. All right, let's see how this helps us now. All right, now acceleration is number one. Top speed is still third. 
parts development, 18 days for our rear wing. Let's go ahead and do a new design here. What do we want to do? Underfloor probably, huh? Or do we want to do front wing? Let's go. Let's go under floor. All right. Let's show values. Once again, unlimited CFD hours and wind tunnel hours. We're going to vastly improve this car very quickly. Look at those numbers jump. Look at those numbers jump. All right, maxed out. Let's go rank on grid. We're just gonna go rushed. Okay. Important email. Yep. Okay. Let me make sure nothing else needs to be developed. Nope. Nope. Good. Okay. Next race. Ah, uh, weather center. Helipad. Tour center. This is all the unimportant stuff finishing right now. All right, up next, the Australian Grand Prix. I'll see you guys for the race. All right, guys, we are at the start of the race. David Schumacher, P16, and Mick, P3 for the race. Let's go ahead and take a look at our strategy here and see where our setups ended up being at. 90% for Mick, 93% for David. Let's take a look at the race. It's going to be dry all race. Mediums to hards, no. We may have to do a, a soft run in here as well. No, never mind. Six laps on the softs. You know what? That's not even worth it. Hards to mediums. Yeah, we won't be able to push the tires at all, though. You know what? I'm not going to make the same mistake I did last race. We are going to start in the mediums, give ourselves a better opportunity to make some decisions if we run into an early safety car if not we can always stretch it out to the end and go mediums to hards for the rest of the race so let's see if mick and david can live up to the schumacher name mick is starting p3 let's go everybody else is on the mediums as well so we'll just follow their pace and pit when they pit all right let's go mick we'll go on board a little bit just to kind of look at his racecraft here We do have our new chassis in as well, so that should make our, our car the clear undisputed number one on track, even though we were clearly undisputed in the first few races. All right, so Hamilton's starting to drop back slowly but surely. 
working his way outside of our DRS right now. Bottas in P5. The Alfa Romeo looks pretty good this year as it was, man uh, it was able to stay with us at Saudi Arabia as well. So Hamilton's caught up a little bit here. All right, we'll go back on board with Mick. Are they pushing on their medium compound tires? They are not. So it, it looks like they might be going for a one-stop. Or they could just be going easy on this, these first few laps here. We'll speed it up a bit. Oh, and Ferrari Whoop. just gave the place. Okay, so Russell just dropped down to P20. And DRS is enabled. Sounds like someone's locked up. We oh, man. Okay, let's see what happened with Russell this. here. Here's George Russell. They've locked up, Ouch. Went worse. deep into the last corner complex there. The team are really disappointed. He's dropped all the way down to P20 at this point. At the moment, we are the fastest car on track. DRS enabled, and we're still able to stick with the Red Bulls out in front. David working his way up as well. Mick! Oh, my goodness. I don't know what to say. I'm very sorry about that. Are you okay? Well, I'll definitely... Let's go take a look. Let's hope that the front wing was the only thing he damaged. Nope, got a bit of underfloor damage as well. Okay, so that will slow us down a bit for the rest of this race here. Mick, get back on track. Or are you just going to sit there for the rest of the race? All right. All right, we need a safety car now. We definitely need a safety car. David is up to P12. All right, David is our saving grace right now. One second. Okay, let's try closing back up to Joe. And okay, he's managed to take David taking taking the charge here. So now David's behind no, uh, Lando, and Mick is a good 20 seconds behind. David actually sets the new fastest lap there. Wow. Do we see a changing of the guard here? Mick's got underfloor damage, so even if he does catch up, I don't think he's going to be able to really do much for us. All right, let's use the battery here to kind of catch up a little bit more. 19 seconds. We are closing the gap, but it's only Stroll that um, we're catching up to. Five seconds. Okay. Well, let's take this time to harvest a little bit, a uh, little bit of battery. And McLaren with a great overtake. All right, everybody's about seventy percent. Let's see if they start pitting. And just a reminder on your eyes. Copy. Sound button off. McLaren, gain a position. All right, I don't want to make any decisions just yet with David. If if I see people start to pit now, then I'll know that they're making a two-stop. But if they go long, then they're definitely doing a one-stop race. And I don't want to put myself in a bad position where I go and do two pit stops and then everybody else only stops the one time. All right. We are ahead now. Ahead of Lando Norris. Okay, good. This is good. So people are doing a two-stop. People are doing a two-stop. Oh, man. The battery's been dying with Mick. Um, so then we can go ahead and use the tires to... Might as well kill the tires while we can. Joe is in the pits. We're still 2.3 seconds behind with Mick. Let's harvest a little bit of battery. Maybe we can still gain some points here with Mick. Yellow flag. Okay. Is that a lockup? Oh, 
there's a spin. All right, David's got a few more laps to go. And I'll, maybe let's pit him now. We'll go... This is it's kind of difficult to manage when one of your guys is in the back and the other guys in the front. Although now they're both in the back because David just pitted. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. All right, so David or Norris comes back out ahead of David, and Mick is now P16 and about to run out of battery. But we've cleared the uh, Aston Martins and the Williams. So that's good. Not that it'll really do anything for us. We do have the fastest car on the grid, even with underfloor damage here. Okay, so... Points could still be in it in, in our favor here. As there's only about maybe 15 seconds or so up to P10 to Dave. Alright, let's slow things down a little bit. Where's David up there? P10, Mick, P16, yellow. Okay, I thought that was going to be a safety car. Sounds like a spin. We could stretch this to the end, but I don't think we can with Dave. We're going to have to go another pit stop. We might as well kill those tires. And with Mick, I think we're going to have to go a little bit easy on the tires. I don't know if we're going to make it. Yeah, he's seeming to not be able to close up to Sonoda. And he actually just dropped back another position. I'm sorry about the spin. And he just spun again. Okay, so that's yeah, that's not gonna happen. Copy. Fifteen seconds now behind. Someone spun out. We're gonna have to focus on David here. So deployed, deployed. Copy. All right, come on, Dave. Use a bit of battery and, and the rest of your tires to get in front of Lando here. Get away from him. And the is wow, disabled. battery the is dead. Disabled. And Lando's still right behind us. I think Mick is done for the day. He's 17 points behind. All right, so some of the leaders are starting to pit. David's been promoted up to P7. Where is he on track? Copy. Oh, yeah, that's what happens when you spin out fucking three times in a race, Mick. Alright, so let's see. I think Mick will have to go easy on these tires to make it to the end. And... Let's pause. Where is David? He's going to have to come in now. For mediums. Uh, let's go easy on those. Alright, so Dave comes out P12. Mick is a good 25 seconds behind, so I don't think we're going to be doing anything with him today. And he's got damage to the car, so we'll follow David and see if he can manage to score his first points uh, in Formula 1. 89% looks like one, maybe two, maybe three. I had those two, those two guys are too far ahead anyway. So Norris still has to pit. Magnuson still has to pit. Yep. Looks like points are still in the cards for us. If maybe just one, but I will take one. All right. Come on, Dave. We've already caught up to Magnuson. It's a race position. Six game laps left. Mercedes. We are in P10 right now. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place.
come on. Come on. Looks like we're about to drop Russell and then... Got a bit of fuel. Got a bit of fuel. Last lap. Can we hang on? Oh, damn it. Come on, David. It's a race position gained for a Mercedes. Come on, David. I'm very sorry about that. Come on, come on. Is George gonna get uh George has got DRS as well. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dive it right no down DRS. the inside. No DRS, Damn it. Okay, well, that's a fail fail for both of our drivers today. Mick cannot stop spinning out, and David can't take advantage of having the fastest car on the grid. All right, so driver standing. Mick's dropped down to P5 now with 29. Constructors, we have dropped down to P4 now as well. David does get one more development point. That's good. Let's see. Team Hub. Regulation vote. Doesn't even matter. We have the fastest car on the grid. Okay. So let's go take a look at the drivers. David has one point. We're going to put it into overtaking. And he's up to a 48. Thank you very much. Enzo's got one. We'll put it into braking. Mick doesn't have one. See our staff? Nothing. Facilities. Team Hub. Every time I see Team Hub, I think Pornhub. All right, boys. You're not making the Schumacher name look that great. We'll go and take a look at the car. Four days until the new rear wing. 40 days until the new underfloor. How many days until the next race? Quite a bit. So it looks like we will get the rear wing in. Car parts test center is coming in as well. Upgrade that. Helipad's done. Rear wing is done. How many we got? Three in warehouse. Rear wing change. Boom. All right. So it's just brake cooling and engine cooling that we're lacking in. And underfloor we need to manufacture. All right, so airflow focus changes changed for next year. We only have negative $482 million left before we exceed the cost cap. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Research a new car part. Minor technical changes for next week. All right, guys, so let's design a new part here. We just designed a new chassis. A new rear wing and a new underfloor. I think we can go with new front wing here. And since the rules don't apply to us, we are just going to put in as many hours as we can. I don't know what the max is. Once the numbers stop changing over on the new side. Still changing the percentages a little bit at a time. All right, so we're done there. Low speed, medium speed, high speed, brake cooling. All right, guys, we're headed off to Imola. I'll see you guys for the race. All right, guys, so we are here for the race at Imola. We take a look at the setup confidence. Mick is only at a 79% and David is a 91%. So it looks like we're going to have to sack Mick's uh, engineers as they are not working to where I want them to be. But that's fine as long as we're still getting pretty decent results. Looks like it's going to be dry all race, so we're going to go medium to hards. Plenty of tire uh, life for both stints, so looks like it's going to be a one-stop race. We'll do the same thing with David here. <laughs> David got a pretty decent qualifying, uh, P9 and Mick and P3, so 
things are looking good for the race after not scoring any points at Australia. So hopefully we turn things around in this the crowd race. Are on their feet in anticipation of this. The so good thing for us is that this is a one-stop race, so we should be able to just get away with one stop and be able to push on our tires. But we lose a spot right away. Both of our guys too, as David's P10 now and Mick is P4. Everybody, Hamilton. I mean Verstappen starting on the hards though. So let's see if we can get out in front of him as quick as we can. Go overtake right away now. DRS, enable. DRS is enabled. We make. Can we make our way out in front of Lewis Hamilton? Yes, we can. Can we make our way out in front of At Verstappen? The we, the can we cannot. We'll save our battery. Fastest lap. That's good. Save our battery for the DRS zone. Now let's give it a shot. Still can't make it out in front of Verstappen. David's holding his own, now up to P9. Let's push on the tires a bit. And now we'll do overtake. Nope, still not able to get out in front of the Red Bulls. Harvesting a little bit better here. We might lose a position to Hamilton, but we're still able to keep up with the... Okay, now we are in front of Verstappen. That's good. Oh, did someone run wide there? Can we get out in front of Perez? That's good. All right. Use a bit of battery. Use a bit of fuel. Let's open up this gap so they can't just get us right back on the next DRS zone. And just a reminder on DRS. Copy. All right, so we'll go back to normal deployment. We'll manage David here for a little bit. Come on. Come on, David, get a position here. Nope, still P9. A lot of yellow flags. We just had a car run wide. All right, David up to P8 now. position yellow sector two okay nope who's running wide there schumacher not mick please all right so i think that was david that went went wide mick still good two seconds ahead p1 let's see if david can get a position here uh, nope never mind battery's dead david up to p6 now Let's use a bit of our tires here and what little fuel we have extra here to try and stay out in front. Russell is in no man's land right now, six seconds in front of us about. And we still have a whole bunch of cars trailing us that could possibly overtake us. Mick's lead is dropping a bit, 1.5. I think one of my cats just pooped because it smells really bad in here. It smells really, really bad. All right. All right, David. Easy on that. Slow down now. All right. I don't want David running out of tires by the end of the race. Looks like we're... All right. So Max is just catching up to us. We don't really have much battery. I don't want to harvest and allow them to get back within our DRS here, but it looks like it's going to be inevitable that they do so. I. All right, so Verstappen and Perez fighting. Let's use a little bit of battery here. Dang. All right, so. I think there's been a lockup. I think we got a little bit of tire life here to work with. David might as well harvest while he's stuck behind Alonzo. All right, we should be okay here with Mick. And 
And David's got a little bit of tire life left as well. Come on, boys. Push it, push it, push it. We are in... We're in the pit window. No. What happened? <laughs> Damn it, David. What kind of damage are we looking at? Major damage to the front wing, minor damage to the chassis. Damn it. It looked like we were going to have both guys in the points, but not so much anymore. All right. That makes our life a little bit easier. Now we really only have to manage Mick. There's been a crash. Sounds like a single car. That's what I get for pushing David too much. All right, so David into the pits. Mick now at now at forty percent. We already pitted him. He's fine. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep Mick out for one or two more laps here, and maybe even harvest some battery. Max is going to catch up. That's fine. Yep. All right. So Max overtakes. We're harvesting battery behind him. Red Bull moves up. I will pit right now just so that we don't get too crazily undercut. Will Mick come in? All right. So Mick comes in. David locks up once again. Let's see, make sure he didn't do any more damage to his car. Nope, okay, so we are good. Go back to Mick. We came out behind Perez. Go easy on the tires a bit. Alright, so we have a full battery. We are in P2. Verstappen still has to make a pit stop. So he should come out a little behind us. Please, not a safety car. Please, not a safety car. Yellow flags. Not a safety car. Good. All right. Now, let's see. Max is at 58% tire wear. So, we should be able to make it. We're halfway through the race right now. Max has 58% tire wear. I'm trying to, trying to calculate how much tire life we will have by the end of the race we should be okay to push for a little bit i want to get out in front of perez and also not have verstappen come out right behind us so let's go for a little bit here all right so we've made it outside of perez's drs and we got a pretty good undercut on max at this point as well. Tire life still looks okay. Even though we're pushing. It looks like the hards will make it to the end. We might even be able to go attack for a few laps here. I think we've had a car run wide. Let's harvest a little bit of battery too while we're at it. 13 seconds now. 23 laps left to go. All right, battery is good. David P14, I don't think he's... We'll go back to regular tire tire pace. All right, so Verstappen should come out behind Verstappen. Um, Verstappen should come out behind Perez and in front of Hamilton because Hamilton's a good... Please, not a safety car. All right, so not a safety car. We have plenty of battery here. Plenty of battery to use at the end of this race. In fact, I might even use it right now to try and push a little bit further ahead. Okay. So six seconds in front of Perez. Man, Verstappen is going super long. He's gonna lose. He's coming out right in front, right in front of uh, Hamilton. And a good 18 seconds behind us. Now, so long as we don't make any dumb mistakes here with Mick. I swear to God, Mick. I'm going to take away your later, Hosen. If you fuck this up for us, we might have a win here. Six seconds in front of Perez. We'll just speed it up a bit. 
go easy on the tires, go easy on the fuel. I don't know why, but it seems like every time I run Imola, one of my drivers always runs out of fuel because I'm an idiot. I mean, because that Asian guy is an idiot. The Asian guy that usually does these on this channel. But I am Michael fucking Schumacher, and I don't make any mistakes. All right, so Verstappen 12 seconds back. Perez is good six seconds back. Hopefully, they will start fighting if and when Verstappen ever catches up to Perez. I think we're good. I think we're good here. Maybe harvest a little bit of battery just in case it comes down to it right at the end. We're overtaking P12 or lapping P12 right now. All right, go back to normal. Oh, all right, so it looks like they're pushing. Might as well use up the last of our tire life here. Verstappen now up to P2, three and a half seconds behind. We have a little bit of fuel to play with. Final lap. lap. You know what? Let's go on board with Mick as he wins his first race. We'll even deploy here just for fun. This is what I want to see. Another Schumacher and a Ferrari bringing home a victory. Final corner. All right, boys and girls. Mick brings home his first victory in a Ferrari. I cannot be more proud as a father. But as a German, I will keep my emotions in check. This is me overflowing with joy and pride at my offspring. The seed of my loins. winning his first race. Can you tell I'm super excited? David finishing P13, 14 seconds back. That's a first win for a Schumacher. Car looks like it's it's the number one car on the grid. We don't need to look at this celebration. Mick Schumacher now P3 in the driver's standing, jumping Lewis Hamilton in P4. And Ferrari has jumped up one more position in the constructor standings. P3 now with 55 points. Red Bull's running away with it, 163. And Perez actually is in first place in the driver's standings with 84 points. Only 29 points ahead of us, but it is a good race. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will stop it here for now. I don't think I want to do an entire season like I did with the Latifi um, playthrough, or that Asian guy did with the Latifi playthrough. $5.1 million dollars uh in sponsor money but we will leave it here after the Emilia romana grand prix we've got some stuff finishing up cft simulator tour center finishing up race simulator finishing up and yeah that's it so after the fourth race we are currently standing p3 in the driver standings and p3 in the constructor standings so thank you guys for watching if you think i've earned it please leave a like comment or subscribe Stay tuned for more as I will be finishing this Schumacher Road to Glory series in the next coming days or weeks, depending on what my schedule looks like. Uh, remember to eat your buck and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Michael fucking Schumacher signing off.